The opinions expressed on this radio station, its programs, and its website by the hosts, guests, and call-in listeners or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. They do not necessarily represent the opinions of Revolution Radio and FreedomSlips.com, its staff, or affiliates. You're listening to Revolution Radio, FreedomSlips.com, 100% listener-supported radio, and now we return you to your host. Hi and welcome. You're live here with me on Revolution Radio. I'm your host, Paul Stevenson, on this Monday, the 27th of February, 2017. And I am delighted and uh, be looking forward uh, to this guest. We have E. Michael Jones, or Mike Jones, uh, as, he, as he's uh, more commonly known. And he is the uh, author and publisher of Culture Wars magazine. Hi, Mike. Hello, Paul. How are you, sir? Good. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Well, I've been I've been trying to sort out my Skype for the last hour, and I thought we might not even be able to do this, but it just suddenly uh, got working in the end. And uh, I'm delighted to have you on. I know from my uh, Facebook that there's uh, quite a few other people are excited and looking forward to to having you on. You've uh, you've certainly got your fans, Mike. Well, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Do you uh, want me to leave the picture on or turn it off? No, that's fine. It's fine. I mean, I can see you. Um, and uh, but I mean, obviously, it just goes out in radio, so um, it makes no difference. But yeah, it's good. It's good to see you as well. Where do we start, uh, Mike? Um, I guess you know. Let's start with Nikki Haley's uh, United Nations uh, bullshit, if you don't mind. Excuse my language. Um. Do you want to comment on that? I mean, it's, it's, it you'll makes def- to, You'll have to explain to me what that what that involves. What's going on? Right. Okay. I'll I'll just quote it for you, and then I'll give you the floor. Uh, she said, "The first thing I wanted is this is about four days ago, I think, uh, when uh, UN ambassador designate uh, Nikki Haley listens while testifying on Capitol Hill, Washington, Wednesday. Uh, sorry, this is actually January the 18th. It's going back a little bit, but I, I haven't. I want your comments on it." She said, the Security Council is supposed to discuss how to maintain international peace and security. But at our meeting on the Middle East, the discussion was not about Hezbollah's illegal buildup of rockets in Lebanon. It was not about the money and weapons Iran provides to terrorists. It was not about how we defeat ISIS. It was about how we hold uh, Bashar al-Assad. It was not about how we hold Bashar al-Assad accountable for the slaughter of hundreds and thousands of civilians. No, instead, the meeting focused on criticizing Israel the only one true democracy in the Middle East. I am new around here, but I understand that's how the council has operated month after month for decades. I'm here to say the United States will not turn a blind eye to this anymore. I am here to underscore the uh, ironclad support of the United States for Israel. I'm here to emphasize the U.S. is determined to stand up for the U.N.'s anti-Israel bias. We will never repeat the terrible mistakes of Resolution 2334 and allow one-sided security kind of resolutions to condemn Israel. Instead, we will push for action on the real threats we face in the Middle East. goes on to say that, you know, uh, Iran is the biggest uh, supporter of state-sponsored terror and blah, blah, blah. What is going on with Trump? I mean, domestically, it's, you know, he's the same guy that I wanted, you know, that I supported. The same nationalist uh, movement guy, generally speaking, same as the Brexit, uh, bringing back jobs, all the rest of it. The media are attacking him on every level. Uh, to me, that's a good sign that he's on the right track. But with foreign policy, we've got the same Zionist uh, agenda, both for the neocons and the neoliberals. And it's just this continued buildup of troops around the Russian border and the war drums beating for Iran. So I'm, I'm kind of, you know, uh, increasingly losing uh, confidence in Trump and when it comes to his rhetoric about non-interventionalism and a change in foreign policy, you know? Yeah, I think you're right. There's a huge contradiction here. The, the campaign that he waged was based on a very simple principle. It was called America First. America First was uh, harkens back to the 1930s uh, when people like uh, Charles Lindbergh and Henry Ford uh, tried to keep America out of the war. Yeah, that proper was, nationalists, you mean? That was yeah, that was brewing at that time. So the first, but what these two, what these two men and Father Coughlin had in common is they were from the Midwest. <laughs> 